Welcome to Two Jews Making Food. I'm Amy. And I'm Rebecca. And uh, today, today we're, we're, we're making breakfast. We're making some breakfast, although this could be dinner. It could be dinner, yes. Listen, eggs all day. It's versatile. Yeah. It's, we're doing a little... You know, because eggs are so cheap right now, <laughs> we're making an egg dish. It's a million dollar meal. Yeah. So you're making, what are you making today? Shashuka. Shashuka. Which is actually, uh, I think it means all mixed up. All mixed up? All mixed I'm up. all mixed up. It is, uh, well, uh, it's, I think it's poetic for us. Speaking of all mixed up, I have something funny to share since you said that because that's okay. very, I found, I'm, I'm very interested. I found this at the, um, at the store the other day and it made me think of us. This is from Trader Joe's and it's called Everything But The Bagel Nut Duo. <laughs> I, I we think are, we are the everything, the everything but the bagel nut, nut duo. duo. So when I saw this, I thought, well, this is us oh. in a nutshell. <laughs> the everything but the bagel nut duo. I haven't I tried it, that. and I'm not endorsing Trader Joe's as much as I love it. I'm, I'm not, not a commercial, obviously. You don't, but, you don't but it made me laugh, this. and so we are the everything but the bagel nut duo. We're but I the, love that. I'd like to be, can I be the, ca I think the cashews are more like, so I'll be the cashews. I'll be the almond. Okay, anyway. Not using these well, today. Well, now that we thought it was funny. We're not using Just had to share. No. You just brought it? No, we can snack on it later if you want. All right, anyway. All right, well, I'm, I'm actually, I've begun cooking the shashuka because actually it takes a little while for all of the uh, vegetables that I've put in to get nice and soft and golden and brown and delicious. A little bit of salt going in here. I have onions. I have green pepper. Mm -hmm. I have tomatoes. Mm -hmm. A little bit of fresh tomatoes. I'm I have using garlic. fresh tomato, but you fresh can tomato. use canned. You can use canned tomatoes. So it's about two pounds of tomato. I'm going to throw the rest of them in. And they're just going to break down in here a little bit of oil and a little bit more salt. And I'm going to add some paprika. Ooh, a paprika. A pap they, say. Pap they say paprika? Some people do. Who? I don't know. I British don't know people? British no. people say paprika. I think they, they do. do. I think they do. Paprika. I don't know. That's like saying herbs. <laughs> herbs. Oh, herbs, herbs. Herb. They say herbs. Wait, they say herbs, yeah. Well, you know, I'm going to call my friend Sarah and be like, do you say paprika or paprika? Paprika? I've never, I mean, I've never this heard of that. Well, what are you making? I am a making mess. It looks a like you're mess. making a mess. I'm trying to separate these pita. Please um, do. So my mom always used to make long before the pita chip existed, mm -hmm. but you know before Stacy's, my mom used to make um, pita garlic bread, and it's mm. so good. It's just essentially you just take pita bread and you separate it, and then you just slather it in like butter and oil, parmesan, uh, garlic powder, some. Um, Italian seasoning, and then you put it under the broiler, mm. and it's the most delicious garlic bread on pita. And um, so it's essentially like a softer version of like a Stacy's, Stacy's pita chip, and better. Um, so well, I'm homemade. so so be, so I'm making that to accompany your eggs, which is actually very like traditional. A, yeah, and thing. because it's pita, it's also Middle Eastern. So you know, I thought that was a nice accompaniment. Yes, I'm also. Now this is actually a very traditional. A yes, you are. Really. <laughs> it's a very traditional uh, thing to eat in Israel. Shalom. Also that. So I'm adding, this is actually hot paprika. I hope I'm not adding too much. Uh-oh. Not too but, hot. Not too much. That's Billy right. doesn't like it too hot. Billy doesn't like it too hot. But you know what? Billy doesn't know. Super fan Billy's here today. Billy thought pho was not going to be for him, and he ended up being like his favorite meal he ever ate. And our new super fan, Linda. <laughs> Thank and you for joining Tyler? us. Tyler. And Tyler. <laughs> what, a, what a nice Billy's grandson, Tyler, deal. is here. Still welcome. Um, in our little audience today. So, um, so I'm trying to separate my pita into, um, you know, two parts, which is a little bit, this one's being a little finicky because it's kind of thin. So you just got to Your patient. mother would cut these in half like this? Yeah, so you cut them in half. You want them open. So, it's, it's so my one, mother would have just thrown the whole thing in. No, you got to you gotta treat the innards. Because you're trying to make a, a chip. Well. To toast it. Yes and no. Because it's not going to be as crunchy as a chip. It's still soft. This looks very lazy. And a little crunchy. I'm putting a little bit, about two tablespoons of... I think of if I were making a chip, I wouldn't separate it. Tomato paste. Mm. Now, I love eating eggs for breakfast. I love eating eggs for dinner. Except these I, days. No, even even now. You, you splurge I on splurge the eggs? I splurge and I get the eggs. I know. I know. Okay. Good for you. Maybe it makes me... Is it fancy? Is it fancy now to eat As eggs? they say, I... Uh, Oh my gosh, this smells I love so that for good. you. That's Amy's new saying. I love that for you. I'm well, it's not my saying. I'm, I'm, I've am i pilfered it from the kids. All right, I'm turning it up. Because <laughs> I and like then, it. Once this is done, you put eggs on top and it cooks in the like the broken down tomato. So this actually cooks down for probably about 20 minutes. That's kind of why I started a little bit early, so that way it would be done by the end of the show. Well, you should be doing the cocktail today, then. Maybe you should do it. Well, I didn't think it was going to take you four hours to cut to the... separate this right, pita. Let me let me separate the pita. Okay, you separate the pita, and I'll make the. Because I'm ready to get drinking. This is I, one of my favorite drinks. <laughs> okay, so 
because it's breakfast, I'm going to make a Bloody Mary. Um, and I actually only recently realized or discovered that I like Bloody Marys. Really? Um, yes, because I was, I was always hesitant to have one. Well, I have to and say, so, I've had bad Bloody Marys, and it could ruin it for you. Yeah. Hey, fellas, let's do this camera. <laughs> fellas, on um, the move. So, Bloody Mary, you know, is pretty... Now, Amy, have you ever ooh. made a Bloody Mary? No, I've, okay, so you all know I like to do sad. this. I like to uh, fly by the seat risk, of your pants. you know, do be a little risky and like try things that I've never tried before. Wow. And, and you know, and I'm new to the Bloody Mary game, so I brought my, my lovely pitcher. I have to admit, Amy, I have ruined so many Bloody yeah, Marys. Yeah, you said that to me like right before we started. <laughs> Thanks <laughs> a lot. For that. I have tried. I have tried. I love Bloody Marys. I often get them for brunch, you know, when we go out. I've tried to make them at home. I find them difficult to make to get right myself, but I am so pumped for you. I cannot wait to see what you do with it. We'll see how it goes. I'm this, this is um, my favorite Bloody Mary by, I can't, I found it on the Rob Report. I don't the what? The Rob Report. But what hopefully Rob is. knows what he's doing. I know, right? Come on, um, yeah, we'll see. So, um, mm. he sounds like he knows I'm gonna you. I'm going to double it so that we have a little bit for our audience as well. Penny, so, um, one, a single serving is one and a half ounces of vodka, so I'm going to do three ounces of That'd vodka. That's your way to do it. Oh, <laughs> Billy just said, oh, Jesus. Yeah. Can't help you now. He knows when he comes here, he's going to get a little bit tipsy, especially when he sticks around. All right, Amy, I did the best that I could with this. <coughs> Thank you. All right. Then. You're I doing need... all of these? Oh, wait, this. Yeah, if, well, no, we don't have to. Just do four, uh, four pieces. Okay. Um, fine. All right. That, so I, I, that's fine. Three to four ounces of tomato juice. I'm going to try to do one more because that one doesn't look nice. I ended up getting like the vegetable blend. I don't think it matters, Ooh. but we'll find out. Um, so three to four I'm going to need. What is that one? That's like uh, Oh, eight, Amy, I love your quick two, math. I know. Three. Guys, this is four, really hard. Is the, if five, anyone knows an easier way to do this, you just six, write in and let me know. I am destroying this. Okay, seven, there we go. Eight. Amy, you can count. I can, I can count. But I can't multiply, add, <laughs> subtract, You can divide. count up to eight. I know how to do the thing with the nine, anything like with nine, like five, Five, five times nine, so you put this finger down, and that means it's 45. We are actually a very educational Whoa. show. Nine mind. times three, 36. Oh, Amy, you're killing it. Nine times right, six, you're killing me. 54. Make the drink. <laughs> well, Is that a good trick? I, that's, I, you didn't know that? No. Is that a good trick? Well, now you know. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah. half a teaspoon. She did a whole oh, hand trick. I did a whole hand trick. It's a, a magic show. It's an educational Children experience. So half a teaspoon, oh, one, one half to one teaspoon of horseradish. Since I'm doing um, a double, I'm going to do like a big scoop of horseradish. Yes, do. I love horseradish. Do you? I'll yeah. do a little bit more. This is going to be gross. Um, <laughs> it's going to be gross. All right, then we've got a I'm quarter teaspoon one. of Worcestershire sauce. Billy, behave. Worcestershire. Wor Worcestershire. <laughs> Worcestershire. I know people go on and on about it. It's really a hard word to say. Quarter teaspoon. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I, I love Worcestershire, so I'm going to do. I do too. Okay. Listen, this is not baking, so it's not exact. And I'm going to taste it before I make you taste it. And maybe it'll be good. Um, it's going to be delicious. I'm excited. Couple pinches of black pepper. So like a good, I'm just gonna put some in my hand here. That's a couple just boom. Whoa, Amy, you're getting wild. How much salt? A pinch of salt. Amy, look, I did good. You did great. What do I do with these now? Um, now we have to melt some butter. You're melting butter? Yeah. Um, like like, you know, this much, and we're gonna mix some butter with the olive. We're mixing it with olive oil. Yeah. We're melting it, and then we're mixing. Melting then mixing. Okay. okay. Where am I? Like if I do this, like here. Oh, pinch of celery salt. Like here? That's too much. Okay. Like half, half that. Half that. Great. <laughs> uh, all right, so pinch of... I mean, of I'm learning too. Amy's teaching me ah, how to make pita chips. Oh, yeah. Pinch of celery salt. Boom. Oh, what is happening today? Um, What did I forget? Oh, my first okay. Day in the kitchen. This is I'm optional. Like if you like a little spicy, I'm going to do just... A, I'm not going to do as much as I, I like say. I like it spicy. You like it spicy? Like it spicy. So I'm going to put a little bit of sriracha, sriracha in. Yes, just a, Amy. Just a little bit. All right, so. And then lemon. So I'm going to do, it says like a half an ounce of lemon. I'm going to put a good amount of lemon in. Andy, do you need the broiler on for this? Yes, but not, yeah, we got time. Okay. Where'd my knife go? Oh, there. What I love about this meal is it just kind of cooks itself. And as you all know, if you watch the show, I always, you know, roll your citrus. Roll your citrus. Roll your citrus to loosen the juice. Don't rim a glass with water. Don't rim a glass with water when you need to put sugar or Don't salt on the rim. And, oh. and roll your citrus to loosen the juice. Wait. 
Boom. So like I said, it's like, you know, I'm very helpful. Half an ounce of lemon juice. So I'm going to do at least an ounce, <laughs> which is, I think an ounce is a, is about a lemon. So now I have made, and maybe this is, this is why it goes awry. So I have made Bloody Marys with pepperoncinis. Really? I have made it with capers. In the drink or just as a garnish? No, as like part of the liquid. Oh, no. I made it with pickle juice. No. Pickle juice. Yeah. Thank you, Billy. I put, pickle juice. I put beer in them. Yes. I do all kinds of stuff. This looks like a lot. You said um, you put beer in I, I mix it with beer, yeah. I can already tell I'm going to want a little more of this because it's like a lot of... Uh... Actually, one of my uh, favorite like brunch drinks was uh, I went to a restaurant and they served what they called man mosas. And it was actually like a wheat beer, but with orange juice. So as opposed to a mimosa, which but is champagne. I love champagne. That, that for a man, they actually change the name where like everything related to a woman starts with like men or men menopause. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Why not women menopause? I mean, you can start calling it. So they're calling them, um, or how about a man? So they're going to be like mantini. Like, <laughs> Well, I'm going to start calling everything that starts with man or men that's really about women. Women a pause. I think they were just trying to be cute, Amy. I don't think they were trying to be offended. Menstruation. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Women's. All right, Amy. We're working with food Too here. far. Too Come far. On. And, and everything's red. Oh, I went so far there. Mandible. Let's start over. <laughs> man. Man petty. <laughs> what? Man petty. A manny petty. A wimanny petty. Linda, it, it's endless. I'm not gonna walk up and be like, "Hey, I'd like a wimanny petty." That just sounds like a lot. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm giving it to give it a quick it's taste. Hard enough for me to walk in and. I don't want to have anybody suffer through this if it's them. absolutely disgusting. It's not absolutely disgusting. I'm gonna try. It's it quite now. good. I'm gonna <laughs> a little more. And no. now here's the thing, because you know you play Worcestershire. around. Worcestershire. No. Worcestershire. A little more Worcestershire. Worcestershire. No, Huh? Worcestershire sauce. What is Worcestershire sauce? Do a little more pepper. What is Worcestershire sauce? What is, what is it? All in, it, I believe it has anchovy in it, and my husband actually likes Worcestershire sauce, but he's very opposed actually, to anchovy. Actually, I am very fond of anchovies. I went I to I Spain. Oh, there is? Yeah, there's anchovies in there. And honestly, anchovies... Mm, I feel like so Worcestershire good. would be considered Sardines. umami. Do you think Worcestershire is, is umami? Yeah, it is that. It's It makes the senses yeah. on your tongue prickle or whatever. Umami is like a very in term. I feel like any Such kind of an food in-term. show that you watch, they always talk about the umami of the food. Here, I'm gonna have you and my kids because... are obsessed with food. They like to watch Iron Chef. Like, they're all into all the cooking shows. I might need a little more sriracha. Amy, I knew you would be able to do this. Boom! I would. I, for me, I would make it hard. Just, just a yittle. So you don't put any olive juice or anything oh in it? God. No, it's not in the recipe. Oh, okay. They freaked out over that splat of sriracha. Oh my gosh, she's covering her mouth. She's very concerned. Very, she's very concerned. concerned. Yeah. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I think I'm making a little more vodka. Oh no. <laughs> Do you know what's funny? As I didn't, I didn't. You realize... can taste the booze, right? No, you but you know that's just... how I like it. You could also just put it directly in the glass. No, way everyone gets their own like. I'm not gonna do version. That. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Ooh, this looks so good. Don't tell me what to do. I don't right. <laughs> <You're gonna laughs> have to drive. All right. Billy's gonna have to walk home. Yeah, you're definitely not driving after this. One. All right. So we're gonna put some ice in the glasses. <laughs> so now I am a huge fan of garnishes. I love for Bloody garnish. Marys. I yeah. love when it's like a meal. I go to a place and they have like shrimp lobster claws. Yeah, I, w- I was tempted to yes. do the shrimp thing, but then I'm like, you know, we really pushed the envelope. But recently we made something with crab. I know. We're trying to. You know. So we'll keep it kosher today. <laughs> we're keeping it. Co- <laughs> Keep it a kosher. We're keeping it kosher today, just for all of our fans who are like liking to eat kosher. I'm making little minis for the audience. Little minis, little mini glasses. I don't think you're gonna. I don't think you're gonna not be able to drive home from the, the mini. No, I think you're gonna be okay. Oh uh, well, that's on you, Billy. Billy's getting crazy at two Jews. Billy goes home and tells his friends that he got crazy at two Jews <laughs> cooking show. Billy goes everywhere and he's like, you gotta watch two Jews. You should watch two Jews. This is a fun show. Amy, should we go to the Yiddish lesson while we're like prepping this? Oh uh, ah. uh, yeah, let's go to the Yiddish lesson of the day. Why not? I feel like let's I haven't seen it. your parents in a while. Who's on today? No, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Hey, Mom. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm okay. Today, it's the Yiddish lesson on wheels today. We're in the yeah. car. So I apologize for the bumpiness. We're on, we're on the freeway. Um, so, uh, so, Mom, what is the Yiddish word of the day? 
Yiddish word of the day is Shana. Shana. Which means beautiful or pretty. And when I was a little girl, my grandmother would always refer to me as Shana Madel, which I really never knew what it meant at the time, but I figured it was good. <laughs> but Shana can be before Shana Yengela, which means beautiful boy. Well, and Madel is beautiful girl. Beautiful girl, Shana Madel. Shana Yengela is beautiful boy. boy. And Shana Punam, which is my personal favorite, is beautiful face. Beautiful face. Is, you have a Shana Punam. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. And I hope to be a Shana Altakaka. A beautiful old old fart. Person, an old bag, yes. <laughs> anyway. What so is Sadie? What is Sadie? A beautiful Sadie a is Shana, Shana Hunt. A Shana Hunt. Exactly. A beautiful dog. Hi yes. Sadie. Did you do baby? She is a beautiful dog. So anyway. Shana so Shana's beautiful and then you follow it by Shayna Punam, beautiful face, which is my favorite as well. Shayna Madels, beautiful girl. Shayna Yingala, beautiful Shana boy. Shayna Banana. <laughs> Anything. Shayna Banana. <laughs> um, it's a good one. Yeah. You do say Shayna Punam a lot. Just Shayna Punam. <laughs> All right, well, that's a good lesson, Mom. Another one I'm surprised we haven't done yet. Okay. Shayna Punam. The Yiddish, well, Shayna, the Yiddish word of the day. But let's go with Shayna Punam. And these can all be found on twojewsmakingfood.com. So learn your Yiddish. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Mom. Love you. Bye. Bye. Hi, Sadie. Bye, Sadie. <laughs> nice. Amy, I got very worried that you were driving the car. I, it doesn't look like it. It looks like you're driving the car, but your dad was driving. My dad was driving. I love that. Shayna Punam. There's so many. Yeah, so, yeah, Shayna Yingala is a beautiful boy. Shayna. Oh. Um, Shana Alta Cocker is a beautiful old person. Shana Hunt is a beautiful dog. I thought you thought. I thought you thought. Beautiful Shana. So a lot of people will say, Shana, oh, what is Shana? What beautiful Shana? Shana Punam, beautiful so face. So growing up, my uh, my very good friend's sister was named Shana, and she really she was very attractive. And she Thank had, God. Right? It would be awkward to be named that. So awkward. Be not attractive. But she also had a Mustang convertible. That was in an red. aspirational name. Yes. Well, it came to fruition. Yeah, thank you. It happened. So she was very attractive blonde in a Mustang convertible. So Shayna fit her description. Thank God for that. <laughs> but don't you think the parents are like, they're like, if we name her Shayna, she's got to be beautiful. Right? They, well, I guess maybe they were hoping for the best. Well, like, I was out. born at Princeton University. I think that was like, well, if she's born at Princeton, she's going to be smart. I don't think that that is how well, it, it didn't work. worked. Well, <laughs> no, it didn't work. I mean, listen, I'm no dummy, but... I'm not academically smart, people. I'm just, you know, I'm like, I'm street smart. <laughs> what kind of street are you talking about? <laughs> the mean streets. No, the mean streets. The mean yeah, streets you know. of California. Yes, so the Redondo Beach. Or I mean, there are mean streets. Palos Verdes, where was it? Yeah, Palos Verdes. Yes, the dangerous streets of yeah, Palos Verdes. The, the mean streets of PV. <laughs> very, very mean. Okay, I'm going to add the eggs to this now. All right. So, oh, God. Whoa. Whoa. Amy, you almost Whoa. lost your drink. Of my, my drink. Right, that was totally, totally <laughs> my drink. All right, Amy, I'm going to add the eggs. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> Okay. Okay, give me my drink! Okay, so Beautiful. this has come up to yeah. a simmer. Yeah. Are you ready? Simmer. Simmer. All right, so I'm adding the egg. So I'm almost little, ready to give you a drink, all right? I make a little well. In Vietnamese, you just say buku dep. Buku dep? Yeah, you do. Oh, that's oh, nice. That's nice. I think we talked you know what? Anyone telling me that I'm beautiful in any language is a go. Yeah, not long ago. It's like a good years. All right, so I'm making a little well. Yeah, that's so interesting. You're, You're making, making a well for I'm the making a well for the, for the eggs. For the eggs. Now, in the, in the research that I've done on this, oops, um, some people finish this in the oven, some people finish it on the stove. I'm going to try finishing it on the stove, but some people said they had trouble with that. We'll Tyler, see. you want to come grab these and hand them out? I was stationary and I tried. All right, here we go. Yeah. Amy, have I ever can told all taste you it to how, much how lovely you? it is to crack eggs at a room temperature? Oh, is it nice? Oh, it's so much better. Have I told you, lady, that I love you? Thank All you. right, so everybody's got their, their drinks now. Can you oh, take oh, yours while you yeah, do that? Yeah, yeah. All right. Wow, I need a straw. This is fancy. You're right. We do need a straw. Well, cheers. Cheers, cheers. L'chaim. L'chaim. Cheers. Thank you for joining us. All right, here we go. Good? Oh, Amy, I'm, mm -hmm. hold on. It's I'm, good. I'm wearing it. Good. Came out good, right? I'm a little more lemon in mine. Oh, wow, after all that, yeah. Amy, it's delicious. It's not bad, right? No, I, can, I think you can even have a little more horseradish. But. Delicious. All right, all right. So wait, well. I'm making a well. I'm back to what I'm doing. I did it! You did it, Amy. I made my first Bloody Mary. Tyler, what do you think? You never have you ever had one? 
Yeah, I'm actually not a big fan of blackberries. Mm -hmm. That's good, right? Like, I didn't think I'd like them either, but I like tomatoes. It's kind of like a meal. It is a meal. That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. All right, <laughs> that's in. Eggs are in. By the way, that olive has garlic and jalapeno in it, so Ooh, yum, yum. careful. This is a little bit of feta cheese over the top. Oh, no, I can't, I can't eat that then. Well, you can always take the middle out. Mm. Just don't eat that. Yeah, please don't, don't eat that. All right, so eat. I'm, oh shoot, we're out of time. Let me put the oven on. Oops, that was kind of a lot of cheese there. Uh, you know I'm going to put the oven on broil. Please do. Because I need to broil my uh, things if I ever actually prepare them. All right, so Rebecca, thankfully, um, but melted my, she cut up my pita, she melted my butter. Not I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to the butter. All right, now I'm also throwing on a little bit of parsley on the top, and then I'm going to cover these so that way they finish cooking. Look how pretty that is. Wouldn't you be happy if you went to someone's it's house so and pretty. they served that to you? Yes. Right. So I'm going to brush all of my pita with the olive oil Here butter mixture. I'm closing it. And I'm doing it fast and furious. Fast and furious, we're running out of time. Don't slow down. I'm going to drink while you're Don't doing that. Don't stop me now. Don't stop, stop me because I'm having a good time. Having a good time. Mm. Oh, my God. Although I do think in the future we should invest in some straws. You know, and it's funny because I might actually have some in my... No, I think I took them out. I had straws. So there might be some in a drawer here. I'm not going to search. I'm going right. to watch what you're doing. lemon by mistake. Oh, no. Well, that's refreshing. Well, it's good for digestion. Good for it yes. Is. So, all right, so you put butter and oil. So butter and olive oil mixture. You could just do butter. You could just do olive oil. I talked to my mom, and she said mix it. Oh, okay. So I am. I'm mixing it. That's how my kids like pasta. Really? Fair enough. Yeah. All right, then you do, um, I'm going to start with the garlic powder. So a little bit of garlic powder on everyone. Mm. Just sprinkle it on. Oops, that was a lot. It's okay. Oh, I like garlic. garlic. That's all right. I'll eat that part. Um, Parmesan cheese, everybody. Mm, I like a lot. Yes. Don't be, don't, don't be stingy. You do not gonna all be stingy. Over there, all over. Look at me. I'm clearly not stingy on cheese. Hello. <laughs> Anything I make that has cheese in it always has extra cheese. Like when I make lasagna, I'm like, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna pretty much double all the ingredients to make it no much more sad that you indulgent. Do. Nobody's sad. I do Nobody's that. That's sad. right. Nobody's like, oh, I wish Amy Oh, I wish she put that. less cheese less on this. Less cheese, Amy. No. I mean, I'm sure there's somebody that's like, but there might cheese. be like a vegan. They're probably not. I'm going to say no cheese. All right. I don't think you'd make that for dinner if you knew they were coming. Probably not. Um, well, no, I don't know you. you I don't, you don't know, you, don't, well, you do know me. What are you talking about? <laughs> you don't know my life. Okay. A little bit of, um, go, this go, is uh, go, Italian go. seasoning. You don't have to use the Italian seasoning if you don't want it. I don't know that my mom ever did. But I'm doing it today. I like Italian seasoning. Okay, going in the broiler. Oh, Amy, I'm exhausted Jesus. for you. You've been very busy this show. I'm going to oh. sit here and eat the pita that was not. Here. I'm just hoping the broiler is on. Oh, it is on. Okay. We'll see how this goes. We're running out of time, so hopefully it'll be done. <laughs> I want to open it and peek, but I'm trying to, like, be good and keep it closed. Now, this broiler is not gas, so it's not going to work as well. It definitely works better with flame. Oh, I yes. can understand that. I get yeah. that. I get that. But we'll see. I'm putting this to the side. Okay. Do it. Like over here. I'm trying I wonder what the word for egg is. Like, what's Shana Eggola? I can't <laughs> A beautiful egg? A beautiful egg. Oh, for the egg dish? For your dish. If I had Siri, you... I'd ask. I do. <laughs> I find that I miss her during the day. I don't know. I could turn her on and ask her. She might not know. She'd be like, what do you want to know? What if, what's the Yiddish word for egg? For egg? There's um, someone who's yelling at their TV right now that they know, and we don't. I'm checking for straws. Oh, now you're looking for straws? <laughs> um, We're checking on eggs. We're looking for straws. So how long is that going to sit there like that? It sits like this for about three minutes. We're getting very close to go time here. I'm so excited. And you said that. Did you mention that you could also... Um, Stick that in the oven? Yes, you can stick this in the oven to finish it up, but I want to see if I can finish it on the stove mm. because that's slightly more of a challenge. Um, and we love a challenge. Oh, and a lot of people use um, cast iron when they make this when they make yeah. this dish, uh, but it has to be really well seasoned because the tomatoes will uh, leach any like extra flavoring that's in the pan. That they leach you it? Leach it out. You'll tomatoes. want leached tomatoes. No. Leached hey, I'll get some plates while you're doing that. Do. Okay, I'm looking because I'm excited. That's not where they are. <laughs> okay, it has to keep going. It has to keep yeah, going. Yeah, definitely needs more time. I can tell. Should have had the plates ahead of time. I apologize. Come on, Amy. What have you, what have you been doing this show? I'm planking away. Plates. Get some forks. 
So now other things that you could do, which I read that I thought sounded amazing. What about artichokes and uh, olives? You could do like a nice Middle Eastern like artichoke. There's a lot olive. of things you could do with this. this There's is, a lot of recipes for shakshuka. Shakshuka, yes, no, it's like it's choose your own adventure. You just use whatever you like, whatever flavors you like, and I'm going to do it. You can do whatever you like. I'm very musical today. You are. It's all coming to you. It's all coming to you. You're being inspired by this meal. I guess so. I kind of want to try the um, olive, but I'm a Please little do. afraid. No, it's not hot. It's not hot? Mm. Mm. It's delicious. Well, you eat the whole thing? Wow. Yeah. That was a good okay. drink. Is that, is that raw? Mm. Carla? Oh, it's good. Adding that extra. Mm -hmm. well, adding that little. It's kind of pickled. It's good. Okay. The garlic's good. Mm. Ooh, that's good. No. Now I like to do it. And throw I'm it. full. She added hot sauce. <laughs> You're full already? No. Too <laughs> spicy. Um, mm. I'm going to check my pita. Please do. Now, a traditional thing. Is oh, that one? God. Well, that was fast. Yeah, that oven can be tricky. <laughs> So, <laughs> a traditional thing to do is once this is all done, you just take the whole thing and you serve it, put like a trivet underneath it, you serve it in the pan, and people help themselves, which means it cuts down on dishes. I like when there's no dishes, especially after like brunch when you have people over. The last thing I want to do is do a huge cleanup, because I'm cleaning up anyway from what I've made. So the Amy, that looks delicious. It is. Yay! Well, at least we have one, right? Ow! Oh, geez. You just threw that there on the counter. I did. Here. Oh, wait, that's yours. And? Hot. That's good. Cool. You'll be able to eat the side of this, maybe not the egg yet, by the time we're done. Yeah. I'm making a mess. Wow, Amy, you were busy today on today's show. So busy. <laughs> good things to do. It's so much to do. You have people coming for brunch. I know. And you know, you don't even have to cut. You can break it into pieces, so I'm just doing that. Put it on our plate. A piece for me. Oh, no. I love brunch. Don't worry, you guys will get some. Mm. What's good about it is that it doesn't get like totally crunchy. It's still. But see, I can see why you have to open the pita. Yes. If you left it closed, it would just be bread. Sorry, Ellen. Really? <laughs> oh, <oops>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, right? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God, turn the fan on. Jamie! <laughs> Oh my gosh, LTV is going to be very upset if we... Sorry, guys. Well, we're almost done, we're almost done. Ah, ah, okay, is yours ready? Let's see. It's definitely been three minutes. Looks good. <laughs> I think we're good. I think that's cleared out. Yeah. Look how look how pretty that is. It's gorgeous. <gasps> I'm so excited. Can I you guys like... show it from up above? Now that we've dealt with the fan? No. The, uh, oh, uh, yeah. <gasps> can you zoom in? Beautiful. And some people scramble the eggs. I happen to like, like like a poached nice. egg. I like a runny egg, but some people don't. And that's fine too. You could scramble these, just scramble it right in. It would be delicious. Scoop it up. Scoop it up. Are we ready? Yeah. You guys will get some after we're done. Wait, can you bring the plate to me so I don't put this on? Yes. Way? This is mine. Ooh, that looks amazing. How yum that looks. That looks so good. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm so fucked up about this. That's I love delicious. eggs. Right? Eggs for dinner, eggs for breakfast, eggs for lunch. Like Can I have a little more tomato stuff on this one? Teeny tiny. Teeny tiny. Thank you. All right. Mmm. Mm. Billy's very excited. He's almost ready. Can right. you guys see that? I don't want it to fall off the plate, but. <gasps> yes, that's so good. All right. We got to take a we'll, we'll, we'll end the show and then we'll eat it. Oh, I'm just gonna take a, a picture. Always. Always. Shashuka. <laughs> all right. Well, that was uh, that was shakshuka. We, that was all shakshuka up. It's the episode, shakshuka right? Shakshuka up. Yes. Yeah, so we had our shakshuka. We had our bloody marys. We've and got honestly, our honestly in twenty-seven garlic pita bread. minutes and thirty seconds. So you know that this is uh, a fast meal. I'm nervous to eat it because it looks really hot. Oh my god. So good. Okay. I'm oh, up. All right. Thank you for oh, joining us. Look how pretty <gasps> that egg is. It's running. So um, thank you for joining us at Two Jews Making food. food. I'm Amy. And I'm Rebecca. And we'll see you next time for more Schmaltz, Schmaltz and Shtick.